Joining us tonight, Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor. Uh, Pastor, great to have you with us. Uh, I know that you've expressed uh, your uh, best wishes to the president and the first lady. Uh, they, it is a, uh, a, we're told by the White House physician that they're transferring him to the uh, Walter Reed Hospital Medical Center, if uh, you prefer, uh, uh, for out of an abundance of caution, which I think is uh, yes. exactly the right prescription out of an abundance of caution for any patient, but certainly for the president and the first lady. Your thoughts? Well, Lou, I talked uh, or communicated with several of his inner circle today, and they said the president was in great spirits. You know, he is as tough as a bull, and I think he's going to recover from this uh, quite rapidly. But, Lou, this is a time for all Americans to be praying for the president. And, look, that's easy for me to do. He's a friend. I think he's the greatest president in my lifetime, if not history. But I think the Bible says we should pray for those even if we don't support them. And, you know, there are people out there I don't understand it, but actually hate this president. And I've seen as a pastor, nothing causes hate to disappear any more than praying for somebody. You can't hate somebody you're praying for. And so I would encourage everyone out there to pray for this president, because after all, in the end, we are one nation under God. We are. Uh, but God has chosen to let us make our way in this nation. And we find ourselves yes. on the precipice of the abyss, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and the left has made it clear uh, where they want this country to go, uh, which is basically to end this country as we know it That's and right. create something uh, new. It's a, it is a very difficult thing for me uh, to do, uh, to rationalize what I hear from the left and the radical Dems have become a party of hate. Uh, it is, it's difficult for, I think, all, uh, anyone who is religious, who is spiritual, uh, and who care deeply about this country uh, to, to tolerate much more of what we're seeing. Well, that's right, Lou. I mean, you have in Washington, D.C., uh, D.C. saying a church of 100 can't meet outside to worship, and yet they allow thousands of protesters to not just protest but riot in the streets without any intervention at all. That's the kind of agenda the left has, to shut down the churches, shut down people of faith, and allow anarchy to reign. And that's why we must turn out on November 3rd or before to support the greatest president of our lifetime. Uh, if not, anarchy is going to rule. First Amendment rights are going to be squelched, and we won't be able to recognize this country three years from now mm -hmm. if Donald Trump does not regain re-election. Well, I think he is uh, the historic uh, president of our modern yes. era in this country, and certainly with Abraham Lincoln, the greatest president. Uh, in my judgment, even without all of that, He'd still be an easy man to pray for, uh, and I know that yes. everybody watching here this evening will join you in doing so. Uh, yes. We will do exactly that for the president and the first lady and for all who are suffering from this terrible China virus pandemic. Yes. Pastor Robert Jeffress, yes. great to see you. Thank you a great deal.